Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. So it's after Halloween and uh, I wanted to show something. Hi baby Huey. Just checking on stuff down here. Oh, Mr. Spider, you can drop now. And so, something interesting. I discovered something interesting. I don't know quite what it means, but let's see if I can slip in here without giving it away. Look at this. Ow. Um, so pumpkins that spawn on Halloween with... Uh, Sorry, pumpkins that spawn. Zombies that spawn on Halloween with pumpkins on their head retain the pumpkins after Halloween. We are now about a week past Halloween and uh, this guy still got his pumpkin and so I gave him a name. David S. Pumpkins. Yeah, hey dude. You can... Hi. What are you looking at? Look over here. Yeah, this is... Uh, this was interesting to me. So I don't know how they manage this if it's a separate mob. Hi. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I don't know if it's a separate mob or like a something separate about it or if they just place a pumpkin on their head as if it were a piece of armor and uh, they just retain that. I don't know. I thought it was just a rendering thing on Halloween, but it's not. It's a, it's a, whoa. You got some punch there, dude. Uh, I I think it's it's actually a uh, it's actually a generation thing. That's pretty cool. So I named him David S. Pumpkins. I have to do something with this guy. I don't know what. I'm gonna move him somewhere. Uh, but I think he deserves to be preserved. Oh my gosh. Uh, I I I had this. I had the golems down. I killed all the golems. And earlier today, there were only one. There was only one. Now there's three. Hmm. So, I'm hungry. Where's the rest of that food? There's... Uh, will that be enough? I don't know. Let's find out. I'm hungry. I didn't eat. Oh, you know what? I'm going to need to get the other box. Raw mutton. Uh, advancements. Hired help. Oh, here we go. 25 out of 35. We're gonna eat this raw mutton. Launch, 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 launch. Oh, that didn't fill me up too much at all. And I've got a poisonous potato. Um, I wonder if I should eat something else first. Because I, I took some damage from David S. Pumpkins. Uh, yeah, I'll go for it. Poisonous potato. I've never eaten a poisonous potato in the game of Minecraft. Ugh, ugh. Oh, I've got poison. Okay, that didn't hurt too much. This is done. Put it away. I need to clear out the uh, the glass and the bowls, but you know. Okay, and then there's only, uh, there are a handful of things more to eat. A raw pork chop and a raw potato. Uh, raw pork chop. Munch, 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 munch. Oh, yeah. Now we are at 28 out of 35. Raw potato. Munch, 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 munch. Oh, that almost filled me up and I didn't get sick. Puffer fish. This is the fun one. I've never eaten puffer fish in vanilla Minecraft. We're already hungry again. Oh, because we had to heal up a bit. We have a few more things to eat. Ready? Puffer fish. Go. Oh, glug, 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 glug. Oh, wow. Yeah. And that is nausea. Nausea, too. Whoa. You're going to stop? Whoa. I wonder if that would have killed me. I was actually going to try to eat. Wow. Okay. 30 out of 35. So that counted. Okay, let's eat the pumpkin pie. Munch, 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 munch. Huh. So the nausea will not kill you. How am 
much? I still have 10 seconds of poison. Eat. Okay, I'm gonna... I believe on hard, which is what we have the server on. Okay, the poison's gone away. Goodness gracious. I believe that on hard, the po poison can actually kill you. On normal or easy, it'll just take you down to half a heart. Hmm. Fascinating. Okay. Um, rabbit stew. And we are still at 30, oh, 32 out of 35. Ready? Rabbit stew. Munch, 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 munch. That filled me up. Oh, I'm going to heal up now. Okay. So now we just got two more. Is that correct? Advancements. 33 out of 35. I've got two more to go. Rotten flesh and a spider eye. Both of which cause uh, uh, undesirable effects. But, hey. But we need to eat. Right? So that's just double checking. 33 out of 35. I'm going to eat the rotten flesh. Munch, 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 munch. Oh, I'm feeling ill. So I've got hunger for 26 seconds. So I'm going to get be hungry enough again to eat the spider eye. So that's 33 out of 35. I'm missing something. What am I missing? Uh-oh. I thought I had everything. Huh. I don't know. Hunger for three more seconds. Let's wait for the hunger to go away. I'm gonna eat the spider eye. Munch, 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 munch. Oh, poison for a few seconds. Okay. Advancements. 34 out of 35. Darn it. What am I missing? I don't know. I'm gonna eat regular food so I can get healed up. Okay, well I didn't come over here to eat stuff. I'm going to have to look at the list. I, I don't know. I honestly don't know what I'm missing. I I know I've eaten a notch apple, but maybe not since the advancements were put in. So that might be like the big, the big thing. I don't know. I've got a grass farm going here. And uh, my big hole in the ground is down to bedrock. And I got a spiral staircase to get out. Uh, I have a I have plans for this. But I came over here for a reason, and that was to talk about something, some news that was announced in the last few days, and has to do with the Great Pyramid, and, hi squiddies, uh, and using uh, some muon detectors, uh, basically sophisticated equipment to detect um, subatomic particles that are just sort of naturally occurring, and understanding the way they move through different materials kind of able to turn the world into a giant x-ray machine and x-ray the inside of the great pyramid from the inside out i believe they put the detectors in the queen's chamber here and they were able to detect that there is a large void up here above the grand gallery they don't know exactly how big it is. They don't know exactly where it is, but they just know that there's a big gap there somewhere. Um, and they have no way of getting to it without digging into the pyramid, which they're not going to do. Uh, now there's some, some sort of suspicion or some speculation that it might be architecturally part of the architecture and not necessarily another room. Um, as the the way most people are regarding the, the news is that, oh, they found another room, a secret room. Um, inside the pyramid, they already know about some voids. And the Grand Gallery, the gallery is vaulted like this. It's actually vaulted a little bit more severely than what I have here, but it's vaulted like this. And above the King's Chamber which is up here they have there are some voids up above and they know the voids are there because there's a passageway or one of the one of the little tunnels kind of goes through it and they're able to get up in there and see and some of the workers actually put their names on the stones inside the void and the void is there 
it's actually a bunch of small voids that are there to redirect the weight of all the stones above this point in the pyramid out to the side so that it doesn't collapse. And remember, this is the first time uh, this, the Great Pyramid is the first time that they actually put uh, structures inside the pyramid for the most part, other than the tunnel, uh, for the most part in previous pyramids, uh, they would go and dig a tunnel from the entrance, which is above ground in the pyramid, uh, would go down this, that's this, this tunnel hit this passageway here. They'd go down to below ground, which this is ground level here. They would go down below and they'd build the burial chambers underground there. And this is the first pyramid where they actually put the chambers up inside the pyramid itself. Uh, so there's some speculation that the voids up here may just simply be stress reducing structures to redirect the weight of all the stones above this point in the pyramid out to the sides because there's plenty of weight, plenty of just stone because this is all solid in the pyramid. So that's the, the one theory is that it's directly above the gallery and it's designed to spread the, the weight of this these stones up here out to these stones here and these stones here. Uh, I can't imagine uh, another theory was that that some of the stones like there were big stones inside the gallery here which were then lowered into to block some of these passageways. So it's possible that the that these were chambers used to hold the stones prior to them being moved through the gallery and down in. I don't know. It seems that seems a little odd to me, but I don't know. I've never built a uh, an actual real life pyramid before, but I think that was pretty cool news. So the little muon detector in here, and oh, do I have a daylight detector? Hang on a second. Okay, so I had to make a daylight detector, but let's put it in here. I don't know that I'll be able to put it here. This is a slab. Oh, look, look at that. Oh, nice. Oh, I should have brought... Okay, that's fine. I should put another slab underneath. So so here's our muon detector. Very cool. Yeah, nice. Okay, so we, we now have the muon detector in place inside the pyramid. Uh, if they ever are able to figure out any better what that chamber looks like, I will build it but I have a feeling that they're not going to be able to figure it out because it is encased in solid stone and or solid stone blocks. And without actually digging into it, they're not going to be able to, uh, to take a look and no one's going to want to let them dig into the pyramid. So anyway, cool. Hey dude. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can do this without getting hurt. Hi, guys. Hey, come here. Ow. Oh, man. Okay. So, running around looking for uh, pumpkin headed mobs here in the nether fortress, I got another wither skeleton skull, and that actually put me into a position where I can get another beacon. And so I was hoping to get another one, but uh, no need to be greedy. I have beacons. I have beacons to spare right now. I'm only using a couple of them. Let's see, one in here, one at home, um, one in the community area. I'm only using three. So I could, I could stand to have, uh, I could stand to, to place a few more, but since I have my handy dandy wither fighting area up here at the top of the nether, I figured let's uh, take advantage of that. Uh oh. <gasps> Who? Wait. Oh dear. Um. Hi guys. What are you doing here? Did something change? I've been over here in a little bit, but this seems not correct. Huh. Okay. Well, let's, uh, we're not going to be fighting the wither right now. I don't want to, like, irritate these guys. 
Huh. Okay, let's go get them to despawn. This is really weird. I wonder... Uh, I wonder if there was a change where they couldn't spawn on... I know they could spawn on uh, Obsidian before because they spawn on portals. But, huh. Okay. I'm going to climb up here and then climb back down. That should be far enough away to get them to despawn. And let's see if they're still there. There we are. That's so much better. Um, yeah, that was really weird. I need to think about that and figure out a way to spawn proof this a bit more I have this here for a reason right uh, okay let's get out my supplies do, 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 do. hello pop that's in the right place right yes it is okay pop 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 and then we put down head number one head number two Head number three. Let's go away. Switch to my Smite 5 Axe. <laughs> Do your blow up thingy. There you are. Hi, Mr. Wither. Pow. Pow. Whoa. Pow. Pow. I got withered. Keep an eye on. There we go. Eat. I think I'm okay. I think I'm not too bad. And 16 more seconds of wither. Goodness. But I think I'm okay. Wow. Down one heart, down a heart and a half, down a couple hearts. Eat. That's a lot of weather. Okay, yay! Another uh, another nether star. Let's go put stuff away. See, I have a couple beacons I'm not using at the moment, so we'll have to do something about that. But, all right, there we go. Take off my chest plate. Boop, back on my wings. Ah, as the moon sets over the bay, you get a view of the bridge that Risk NC is building. He's building like a Golden Gate Bridge. This is his San Francisco area, kind of. The structure of XFX and I built to uh, try and pester him a little bit. Uh, but he's left it there, so okay. Uh, and this apparently snows over here. But over here, been searching for a cluster of witch huts, and not not had much luck finding any, or finding like you know double or tr triple or even quad witch huts arranged in a in an arrangement that would make it convenient to build a good witch farm. Out over here is the closest witch farm, I believe, to uh, the, our area. Not here. Where's the farm? Where's the witch hut? Oh, I've lost it. It was surprisingly close. Sorry for the noise. It's trash day tomorrow, so neighbors are bringing out their trash bins. Barb is online. She is watching my previous video and uh, okay so and oh she's asking about the, uh, the eating all the things and I am I've lost this uh, witch hut I don't know where it is I didn't uh, I lost it I'm this is no good I I have the coordinates written down so I can go look it up. But it was right in this area. It's pretty close to stuff, which is good. Let's get some altitude. Maybe you can see it from a bit higher. Uh, so we can uh, maybe build a single witch hut, witch farm. That'd be nice. Oh, there it is. There it is. Look at that. Ooh. I lit it all up. So 
uh, it had been discovered previously but whoever can I put yeah you know what we should light up the top because we don't want anything spawning up here whoops oh so there's nothing in there it's we can ender pearl up yep no witch inside <laughs> it did spawn in ender might yeah. uh so yeah i lit all up so nothing decides to try and spawn inside here um so we could do this there's a fair amount of water about so it wouldn't be too hard to prepare the area so this isn't too bad and uh it's uh close to risk and seize place but not uh not i don't think super close i don't think he'll mind and it'll be nice to have a good functioning witch farm because it'd be nice to have a good supply of redstone and such I still have to go mining for it. I'm not going to trade villagers for the redstone. That's a little bit inefficient, but uh, having a good witch farm would be nice. So that's it. I think that's all the things I have to share today. We will uh, continue playing. What is that? Oh, there's Risks NC's place. So let's get up over there and. land on his roof very nice there we go and we see the bridge cool all right well that's it thank you for watching um we'll have more things next time i am sure and i will see you later bye